Hello guys, this is Raven from DJ Integrity. Today we are going to see the upcoming launches of this week. This week is going to be an exciting one and there are a bunch of new products scheduled to be unveiled. Among them is Hawaii's much awaited P50 series ZTE Action 30 which will have an in-display camera, the Nothing earbuds and the Nokia's first rugged smartphone. Now let's get into it. First is from Xiaomi as a global event set for today on July 26 and it has revealed that it will be announcing new smart home products with a focusing on cooking appliances. The event begins at 2 am which is GMT plus 8 hours and should be live streamed. And then after months of waiting, Kalpe is ready to announce to the Nothing Year 1 earbuds the first earbuds from this new company Nothing. The event is scheduled for July 27th and will begin at 2 pm BST, which is around 6.30 pm IST. And then last month, the Motorola DeFi launched as the first rugged smartphone born from the partnership between the Bullet Group and the Motorola. Now we are about to get the Nokia rugged smartphone too. The device is expected to launch as a Nokia XR20 and will be announced on July 27th. And then after announcing the Axon 30 Ultra and the Axon 30 Pro, ZTE will announce the standard Axon 30 on July 27. Unlike its sibling which have a centered punch hole for the front facing camera, the Axon 30 will feature ZTE's second generation under display camera which has been reported to be a significantly better than that of Axon 20. From ZTE, we are not only going to see Axon 30 5G smartphone, it is also going to announce two new true wireless earbuds, the ZTE Buds and the Live Buds Pro. Poco has recently confirmed that the X3 GT arriving on July 20th will be powered by the Dimensity 1100 processor. Now the company has announced that the smartphone will support a 67W turbocharging. And then from Hawaii as a mega launch event set for July 29th and the Hawaii P50 series will be the star of the show. The P50 series should have launched in the first quarter of the year but had to be delayed as a result of Hawaii's ongoing troubles. The new phones are not only the one new products coming, Hawaii will also announce a smart display for kids with a pop-up camera and a new version of the smart speaker. Both products will be powered by Harmony Hoyas. There is an increased pursuit by smartphone manufacturer to extend battery life and to provide quick wired and wireless charging stations. The approach has seen some innovative solutions from OEMs like Apple's MagSafe power pack with the US company has already been announced. Realme is also known to have gotten a patent for a similar upcoming device called the MagDart. The recent patent filing has shown that Chinese brand Oppo may be considering wireless charging pads for its devices. The full details and the technical architecture of the product are not known fully. However, it is speculated that the wireless charging pads would charge multiple devices simultaneously. This could offer challenges on its own as we have seen with wireless chargers that do not generally pack enough by then several ultra fast wired charging solution prevalent in the market. Earlier this month, Honor launched the Earbuds 2 software edition in China with features like active noise cancellation and up to 32 hours of battery life. Initially, the company launched two standard color variants of the Earbuds, the Magic Night Black and the Iceland White color. Now Honor has launched a custom model of the Honor Earbuds 2 software edition where buyers can get printed their choice of customized sports icon on the Buds charging case. As per the previous week report, Honor is gearing up to launch a new tablet called the Honor Tab V7 Pro. At the same time, a leaked image of a press release that was shared by the Chinese tipster revealed that the tablet will be powered by the upcoming MediaTek Dimensity 1300T. The MediaTek has confirmed on that image that it was a fake image. Oppo will be announcing the Oppo Watch 2 smartwatch on July 27th in China. Ahead of the launch, some of the images of the Watch 2 to reveal its design. According to the images, it support for calling like the predecessor Oppo Watch from the last year. The Watch 2 will come with eSIM support in China. There was no eSIM support on the global version of the Oppo Watch. And it is unclear whether its successor will have a calling support from the global market as well. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.